So hello and welcome back to our DFS Aviation Services Expert Talk. Today, uh, maybe you have seen this face before, it's my colleague Jorge Casanova. Um, thank you Jorge for coming back to You're our welcome. Expert Talk. You have thank been you. the very first guest we had mm -hmm. um, beginning of the year. Correct. So today we would like to talk about a project you just lately um, executed. Correct, yes. Um, I would want to talk about a project in which we've um, helped uh, the Spanish ANSP Enaire with some um, operational consulting mm -hmm. to help them implement a dedicated flight information service um, in Spain. Okay, well great. So I would say uh, we just start and you explain what you did in the project actually. Sure. So, um, as our um, viewers might know, Flight Information Service mm -hmm. is a service that is provided uh, in, as part of um, air traffic control. However, in the airspaces that are congested, the air traffic controllers are busy with the instrument flight rule traffic. Mm -hmm. And therefore, um, it's sometimes difficult to provide uh, an adequate service to the VFR traffic. Mm -hmm. DFS uh, in the late 90s decided to split the service uh, mm -hmm. for flight information services and uh, we provide this um, FIS, like it is called, by dedicated personnel. Um, Enaire wanted to follow this uh, same approach of um, okay. decoupling um, FIS from ATC and they contacted us to help them with that. Very good. Um, well, Harker, you have been working with Enaire for uh, a while now. Mm -hmm. It has been one and a half years, Correct. right? You yes. executed the project. Correct. Um, so what have you been doing exactly to help them um, divide the, the process from the ATC? Yes, so um, as you rightly say, we, we've, we've worked with an idea for one and a half years. Uh, thankfully, the project is now um, finished and very, mm -hmm. they are very satisfied and we are very satisfied with them. Um, our work with an idea was to help them in four areas. Okay. So the first area being um, help them define an adequate sectorization of the airspace. So. Mm -hmm divide the Spanish airspace into different areas okay. for each flight information service officer to provide the service. So mm -hmm. basically define the area or responsibility for each of the fissures. The second part in which we work with Enaire was helping them define all the operational documentation, so all of the operational documents and content mm -hmm. that is needed for the service to be provided properly. Okay. So we're talking about letters of agreement, we're talking about manual of operations, we are talking about requirements for the ATM system, mm -hmm. so a number of things to help them um, prepare for the service. The third part was um, how to train a pedestrian to become a flight information service, so okay. officer. Basically helping define the concept, mm -hmm. what needs to be done, the itinerary, how to reach from being a pedestrian to being a qualified FISO, mm -hmm. and developing the documents to um, formalize this process, the unit training okay. plan and the unit competence schema. And finally, the last part in which we helped them was do an international benchmark. Mm -hmm. Thanks to our um, wide network within Europe, in Germany and the UK through our subsidiary NSL, we did a benchmark on best practices on everything around VFR traffic in Germany, in the United Kingdom and in Spain, okay. so that Enaire could um, see which best practices throughout a representative sample in Europe could be applied to Spain to improve the service to VFR traffic. Okay, that's very impressive then. <laughs> yes. Well, can you tell us a little bit more about what were the benefits um, that we bring to the, or DFS group brings to the table and why was Anari so satisfied with the end of the project? Sure. Um, I think um, Anari was so satisfied at the end of the project because um, we really brought in the experience, our experience mm -hmm. delivering the service since the 90s from a decoupled service. And we also had the experience of transitioning from uh, ATC delivering FIS to dedicated uh, um, personnel. And also we had the experience of having the two models, uh, mm -hmm. providing FIS from a decentralized way, meaning you have FISOs in different ACCs or different ops rooms. Mm -hmm. And then also in, the 2000, in 2019, DFS moved into a centralized way okay. by, in, by which we have dedicated FISOs in our Langen ACC, providing flight information services throughout the entire Germany. Germany. Okay. So Anaire could picture themselves on us mm -hmm. and we could tell them the advantages or disadvantages of each of the model. We could tell, us, uh, tell them our experiences with developing the model and they had the evidence that this worked in reality. So that gave a lot of confidence to them. Yeah, I can imagine that. Well, 
Uh, this was our expert talk on the flight information services consulting topic that we offer to customers. We hope you liked it. Give us a thumbs up and stay tuned for the last video of the year, which is coming in December. Bye bye. Bye.